have a plane that is flying with and against the wind. So whenever you have a problem like this, sometimes you'll see ones with boats and rivers um, where the boat goes upstream and downstream. What we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, this is the wind and it has some speed. So the wind is W miles per hour. Okay, And on the trip with the wind, the plane goes 238 miles per hour. So this is the plane. I'm going to do a not incredibly great drawing of a plane. When it's going in the same direction as the wind, it does 238 miles per hour. When it's going against the wind, so let's draw another plane. This one looks even worse. <laughs> it goes 222 miles per hour. So you can see that when it's going with the wind it goes faster and when it's going against the wind it goes slower. The reason it goes faster when it goes with the wind is you take its regular speed and add the wind to it. So if we let P equal the plane speed and W equal the wind speed then when it's going with the wind, we would say the speed of the plane plus the speed of the wind is equal to 238 miles per hour. Now this one, when it's going against the wind, this is decreasing the speed. So that means it's the speed of the plane minus the speed of the wind equals 222. So I'm going to solve this one by using the addition method. The reason I'm doing that is if I did that, these two would already cancel each other out. So if I add these two equations together, column by column, I would have 2p plus 0w equals 460. Okay, so that means 2p equals 460. So now I have an equation with only one variable and I can easily solve that for p by dividing both sides by 2. So p is equal to 230 mph. Okay, so the speed of the plane, if there were no air current, would be 230 miles per hour. So if I want to find the speed of the wind, I just need to find out, okay, well, what number had to be added to that to get 238 or subtracted from this to get 222. So I'm just going to take either one of these equations. Let's start with the, let's just do the P plus W equals 238. And plug this P into it to find W. So 230 plus W equals 238. So if I subtract 230 from both sides, we'll see that it's 8. Generally, when you have a word problem like this, you do not write the answer in ordered pair form um, because it's difficult to tell which one is the independent and dependent variable. So you just leave it in this form here. 